Hello, I'm Sarah Marino with Nature Photo Guides. Today I am going to share a few quick tips on one of my favorite tools in Photoshop, the Levels Adjustment Layer. I have been processing a lot of black and white photos recently, and my first adjustment in Photoshop is almost always a Levels Adjustment. When using a Levels Adjustment in this way, it expands the tonal range of a photograph. It takes a narrow, boring histogram and expands it to help the photo look much more snappy. The Levels Adjustment is easy to use. To add a Levels Adjustment, select Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and Levels. The Levels Adjustment will appear in your Layers panel. From here, the easiest way to work with the Levels Adjustment is by using the sliders under the histogram. You can set the black point to define your photo's darkest tone by sliding the black point to the right. You can set the white point to define your photo's lightest tone by sliding the white point to the left. You can move the midpoint to the right to darken the midtones or to the left to lighten the midtones. The Levels Adjustment Layer is one of my most frequently used tools when processing black and white photos. I will use three examples to show you why. While I am at the early stage of processing for each of these photos, you can see what a difference a single layer adjustment makes. So now we are going to look at three examples of how a Levels Adjustment can transform a photograph. These are all raw files with no other adjustments applied. Since they're all meant to be black and white photos, the first step I'm doing is applying a black and white adjustment layer. And here you see the black and white adjustment layer turns this photo to a pretty boring grayscale version of it. And now I'm going to click on the levels adjustment, which I have already made. You can see my changes below. I pulled in the black point, pulled in the white point, and changed the midtone point a bit. So I'll turn this off and then back on. So you can see with a single levels adjustment, this photo was transformed from being very flat and gray to having significantly more contrast and pop. For example, number two, we'll take a grand landscape, sandstone formations. We'll add the black and white layer. And again, it's pretty flat gray with the little white stripe as being kind of the only hint of contrast. And we'll add the levels adjustment again. And again, I did make some changes that you can see in the levels panel below. Brought in the black point, brought in the white point, and moved the midtone point to the right. I'll turn this on and off. And just like you saw in the previous photo, a single levels adjustment made a huge difference in the visual pop for this photo. And finally, we will look at a photo of succulents that's very colorful, but also can work as a black and white photo. So I will add the black and white adjustment layer. Just like the other two examples, this turns pretty flat. There is a little bit more contrast than the other two examples in the raw file converted to black and white. But just like the other two examples, the levels adjustment makes a big difference. You can see the changes here. I brought in the black point, brought in the white point, and moved the midtone. These adjustments are a little more extreme than I would make if I were actually processing this photo, since I would have other adjustments to add. I will note that I am comfortable with some clipped blacks, which you can see here, and some clipped whites. Because with black and white photography, in some cases, I do like a pure black and a pure white, which you see here, since the histogram, uh, since the black, blacks and the whites do meet the edge of the histogram um, for this photo. Again, the adjustment is off and the adjustment is on. So with these three examples, I hope that you can see how powerful a levels adjustment can be when processing black and white photos.